All right, now joining us on Skype is Jillian Murray and Dean Geyer. Hello, guys. Welcome. Hey. Hi. Hi. Oh, my goodness. They're going to talk about their new holiday movie coming out on Fox Nation titled Christmas in the Pines. By the way, I screened it last night. It is phenomenal. It's such a great family holiday movie. And I think this is the movie a lot of uh, families and kids and adults will absolutely fall in love with. It has such a beautiful story. Thank you. It does. It's much needed in this time when we're so apart from each other and not able to be around family. It's nice to have those yeah. live vicariously through. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, one thing that I found unique about this movie is Ariel, which is your character, Jillian. She doesn't want to spend the holiday obsessing over gift shopping. She wants to just spend it with family, baking and making crafts, you know, the simple things that we do with our families that bring us together. You know, I think we don't see enough of that today. So why is it important, you know, to really bring these sort of topics to this storyline? It's interesting that you say that because that is the most connective tissue to Ariel is me and, and me is the fact that that's how I do Christmas. I'm all about experiences. We're not gift people, like mm -hmm. either of us. Yeah, we, and I, I mean, I, I grew up as <laughs> getting a lot of gifts as a kid, but well, I think as you as well, you obviously. get older, you realize uh, just how important everything else is, you know, other than just- And receiving. in the last, um, maybe like what, eight years or so, mm -hmm. we've made Christmas a thing where we're not doing crazy gifts, that giving, we're doing like, let's do a vacation in Colorado and, and rent a beautiful home for the family. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, let's do big dinners with all of our friends. Because when you live in That's LA, nice. your friends and family are, it, your family is very distant. So it's mostly your friends. Nobody has family in LA. So <laughs> the people that are, it's true. And I it think my, my family's in Australia. And I think really far. even more so, I've realized, because I haven't seen them in two or three years, I've realized how important it is to have them around during the holidays. Uh, you know, so... Yeah. So so we do like major dinners with our friends and we try and make a, a thing out of creating family where there isn't. And we like I said, we don't do the gifts and we'll have like Christmas parties and stuff. And I think it's people really sense. understand yeah. that spending time together is a big thing for us and game nights. And then, of course, decorating. Yeah. And decorating. Yes. And you guys already have your tree up. I'm just now seeing that, Dean, because it's right behind you. Uh, I love it. So festive. I think something about Christmas and really decorating early, it just makes you feel happy inside, doesn't it? It does. It but does. also, like, if I only have it up for a month, all that work, putting it up and, and doing it goes to waste two months. It needs two and a half months up. It does. It, it does. It does. And then trust me, in this household, Christmas music starts November 1st. <laughs> I mean, nonstop. I, I'm guilty of that, yes. <laughs> really? Well, you know what, Jillian? I must say I have been doing the same thing. As I'm working and editing and, you know, doing everything with my daily job, I'm like, let's turn on some Christmas music. And You know, <laughs> you know what? There's the nostalgia. I love, and like I said, not being around family during this time, being like isolated in L.A., mm -hmm. it kind of just brings me back to like the good old days of being around a large group of people. Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, Dean, you play Mark in the movie. Now, both yes. your characters at the beginning of the film, they buy the same house at the same time, not knowing they put down the same offer on the house. Say, what? Oh, my goodness. This is <laughs> definitely something to see, you guys. How will we see these two maintain to spend the holidays together at this house that they made a purchase on? I, I mean, I, I think it's pretty obvious. Mark takes a liking to her from the very beginning. Yeah. And so I think, uh, you know, you can see he's playful and um, he doesn't take things too seriously. So the, it's it's a very, well, not if they, not for her, I guess, but it's it flows for him. And I think that makes it, 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 it makes it a little easier. And the, and the whole aspect of it being kind of a challenge for him I think he starts to like that, and um, boys love a challenge. They, don't they, 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 they really do, <laughs> and and so I think uh, winning her over, in a mm -hmm. sense, uh, is what kind of maintains that uh, constant. Uh, if you want to say, um, what what would you what would you call it? Constant energy, and then the, I don't know. <laughs> the, I, the ch it's the chase. It's, oh, no. it's all about the chase. Now, Lee Allen Baker, she's also in this movie. I'm like, I like Lee Allen Baker. I okay, used to watch her on Good Luck Charlie. She is 
so phenomenal in person. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, you know what? What was the experience like for both of you? Because I'm kind of saddened that she kind of quit her job to, I guess, be a stay-at-home mom, and she moved to Nashville. She left L.A. I think a lot of us heard that on the news, you know, because she was making a little bit of news there. But um, I'm like, oh, man. Even when I saw her when she was making a little bit of news, I'm like, I love Lee Allen Baker. I'm like, when can she come back to TV? I want to see her, you know, in a movie. And we'll pay for that. We'll, we'll do whatever we can to get her back because, I yeah. mean, I want to write a show just for her. I, I think as long as she's happy, yeah. you know, like we just want her to be happy. We speak to so her like weekly and she's, I mean, she, she loves Nashville. So like, it makes sense for her to be in that area because her kid, when you have kids, like we looked into moving to Nashville actually. And if you have kids, it makes sense to get out of this town. Cause this town's crazy. Um, so I'm happy that she has the ability to do that because she has the lifestyle where she can do that. Um, but it is a crime to not have her acting. It is. Because yeah. she is beyond talented. And what you see on screen is like a percentage of what she can give. Every take, she can give you something fresh and new every day. Her energy level's always at a 10, and it's the most infectious, positive vibe I've ever worked with. And I'm sure that. Better are, than this one. There are millions of people out there that already know that and agree we so. just love her so We're much like she was making me laugh when i was you know watching a couple of scenes from her i'm like oh my gosh she's like hysterically funny you know <laughs> yeah and they don't i mean obviously because the movie isn't like a super comedy you can't use everything but i wish you saw the cutting room floor of she is so brilliant I'm just i'm just a huge fan let's call her up right now get her on the phone you know <laughs> Now, Dean, Mark, he begins to enjoy the Christmas spirit mm -hmm. as I think he believes to learn that family is really everything, and we will see that as the movie progresses. And his love for Ariel becomes more real, but what do you want the fans to enjoy the most about this holiday movie? Yeah, I, I think um, just to enjoy the uh, the energy that we all brought to, to set coming across over the screen, because I really, I really feel like we all bonded uh, together and and I, I we felt at least that it was what it was very real you know the, the, yeah. the feelings that we are having in the scene um, and I, ju I just want the fans to to be able to feel that as well you know whether it was a little bit of sadness which we got um, I just want them to feel with the characters and hopefully we did we did the characters justice, you know, enough to bring that across. I'd like to inspire people to spend time inside and not worry about all this crap going on in the outside world and all these gifts, because in the end, you're locked in, you can't wear cute outfits, so you don't need to buy purses. You, <laughs> honestly, and things that you remember, if you think about it, in the last like decade or so, every holiday, you don't remember what someone got you like eight years ago. You remember, oh my gosh, I remember going, to that one place having hot chocolate by a fire and like playing a game all night and laughing with a bottle of wine or what, do you know what I mean? So I think that making that a focal point is really, really imperative, especially with everyone being so distant. And, mm. and like I said, social media makes you feel um, like you're connected when you're really not. So oh. the connective tissue of being together is kind of what I hopefully it inspires other people to be like this Christmas, Let's all get a place and stay together. So I think what she's trying to say is the fans should really listen to Ariel. Yes. 100 <laughs> Oh, That's exactly what they meant. You know, yeah. it makes me want to get a place, get a cabin and be with a family and, you know, not be on your phone. I think the phone is such the big ruination into the world today because everyone is glued to their phone. People you see on, yeah. on the side of a New York street, they fall literally into holes to sink holes because they're on their phones. Look, oh my God. And now they're on their phones. Look at Dean and Jillian. They're on their phones. They're imitating what I'm telling you, everyone. Yes. That's right. it's, it's true. Yeah. It is true though. Yeah. And it, it gets, God. it's frustrating because whenever um, we do try and connect with people and like my little sister is, you know, she's younger than me and I did set up uh, a Christmas thing and I did notice like the phone thing a lot. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, it's, it's hard when they're the younger generation. Mm -hmm. It's, Hard to break. There, I mean, that's an addiction now. But I mean, here's here's the other thing. Maybe they can learn something from this movie. Did you see one person pick up a phone in that movie? I did. Other than in the to kitchen. call, other than to call yeah. their, their family. Oh, you did. Yes, for Dean. work. Oh no. See, something that's We're something doing you shouldn't. That's in the something future. you shouldn't take from Ariel. 
Everyone, be sure to catch Christmas in the Pines is streaming November the 25th on Fox News Media streaming service, Fox Nation, part of the platform's All-American Christmas. I like that. Jillian and Dean, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. It was a whole lot of fun. You guys are holly jolly. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. And Merry you, Christmas. Yeah, and get to L.A. so you can take that sweater off. <laughs> I, I know, right? Oh, oh my God. What? Never take the sweater off. Yeah, I'm going to take it off right now and just... Sh Everyone cover your eyes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys have a great Christmas as well. It was, it was a whole lot of fun. Thanks. Bye, honey. Yeah.